Hi, and welcome to another episode of Can't Stop the Growth. I'm your host, Chad Peterman, and today we are going to talk about finding your true purpose and how to act on it. Obviously, we are all in search of our true purpose and then the actions which are going to accompany that um, so that we can drive towards that purpose. To explain this a little more, um, I pulled some audio from a future leader series meeting uh, we had a few weeks back where I talked about how to find your purpose um, and then how to align your actions so that they're in line with that purpose. Um, I also get into a little bit of um, how our actions uh, can be kind of distilled down to daily actions that we can ultimately see some uh, momentum with as we kind of really focus in on the day and what we're going to do about it. So uh, without further ado, we'll jump into this audio that's going to uh, explain this a little more in depth. First topic that I kind of want to talk about is that of purpose. Um, so obviously this is uh, a topic that can be very complex, very overwhelming, uh, very um, kind of intimidating, if you will, um, in trying to find, or if someone asks you, uh, what is your purpose in life? Um, and I think because of this, oftentimes we try to steer away from that. So it's, uh, well, I don't really want to deal with that. I'm just going to go about my day. Uh, I'm just going to kind of move on uh, to the next thing that I have on my to-do list. Um, I'm going to continue down this path. And then we ultimately wake up one day and we go, where am I? Or, or where has life taken me? Uh, I don't want to be here or this isn't where I thought in my mind I wanted to be. But we're not sure how we got there. And we're not sure if we want to be someplace else, how to get there. And I think that is why it is so very important to get clear on purpose. Um, you know, for me, uh, personal story was getting clear on the purpose of this place, what it is that we do here and, and why it is we do what we do. Um, you know, when I first started, I was telling somebody this story the other day. When I first started, um, the... Uh, the biggest thing for me was I didn't really know um, why I was here. Uh, I didn't know what the business did. Um, it was intimidating for me because I wasn't technical whatsoever. Um, so I really didn't understand my purpose. I just knew that I moved home, I was gonna start working um, in the business and that would be that. And so, you know, I, I, and, and Christy probably remembers this, that, you know, the, the, the big question around the office was, what in the heck is he going to do? And so I just kind of picked up and just did what I could um, and what I knew how to do without really knowing much um, about the business. And as it slowly progressed, it, you know, the, the, the parts of the business became clearer, like, okay, this is why we do this, this is how we sell something, this is how we make money, all of, the, all of those things. But it really wasn't until we started to grow and you're kind of faced with the question of, well, how in the heck do you do that? Uh, how, do you, how do you grow a business? Um, you know, how do you grow people? And that was always very intimidating to me. It was kind of, I remember going home a, a many a nights going, I don't really know what's going on here. You know, why, why, or, I mean, I know what we're doing, but I'm not sure if someone said, well, what are the three things you're going to do tomorrow to grow the business? I, I don't know. I'm just going to go to work and see what we can do. Um, and so it was very just kind of, kind of cross your fingers. And while we had process, it wasn't like we were just kind of, you know, uh, shooting from the hip. We knew what we were doing. Um, but the, the true kind of purpose, I think it was there. It was just a matter of uncovering it and, and figuring out what it was that we did and why we did it. And so as we found that out, I think we were able to connect that um, to everybody here and thus the growth kind of went through the roof. Um, and, and to me, that is the main reason why we have grown so much is we have connected our purpose um, to our actions. Uh, we've connected our purpose to what we do every single day in every aspect of what we do. And that purpose is to help people, um, whether it be internally, 
a class like this, or whether it be a customer. You know, I, I was talking uh, with a guy this morning uh, who said he had two customers last night that he turned on their heat and they're, they're crying um, because either they were told, they were misled by another company, we came out and just made, it was a simple fix and got their heat running, uh, or uh, it, it was some other uh, issue that, that was very easily taken care of. Um, they got their heat back on and running and, and maybe a problem that they thought was going to be a new unit or something like that ended up being very small. Uh, they were able to get back up and running. Uh, but there again, he's, he's, he's there impacting people. Um, and those were his words to me. Yeah, we, impact, we, we made an impact on that person. Um, and so for me, uh, you know, uncovering that purpose, while it seems complex, is oftentimes boiled down to a very, very simple concept. And it's really like, what are you about? What is it that you want to do on a day in, day out basis? Um, and I think when you can distill it down to something very simple, it's easy um, to then act on that. Um, and I think that's where some of the complexity comes in is that it should touch every action and every part of your life possible. Your purpose should. I mean, in everything you do, whether that's work, whether that's personal, whether it's out with friends, whatever it may be, your purpose should really reflect all of that. You should be able to look at the end of the day and said, whether it was actions before I went to work, at work, uh, during work, after I finished and, and went out with some friends, all of that, my purpose was in line. I knew what that was and, and what I was here to do. And I think what doing that and, and what identifying your purpose does for you is it makes your actions relevant. Because if no purpose is there and you're just acting on a daily basis, why are you acting? Where is your life heading? Uh, what is it is that, what is that end goal that you're after? So to me, the purpose is, is very, very critical because once you understand that, then you understand why you're doing things. So for example, here, when the purpose is to impact and to help people, well, you've got to then all your actions derive from that. You know, why do we have the pricing model we have? Well, we think that's the best way to help somebody. Uh, why do we recommend this over this in a solution? Well, we think, given our professional opinion, this is a better fix than this one. Or, um, you know, why do we answer the phone like we do? Why do we schedule like we do? Well, we feel that that's a better process for both internally and for the customer that's going to provide a better experience. And I think that goes to management um, as well is understanding your purpose is going to allow you to then take that purpose and involve others. Because obviously in life there are very few professions that do not involve people. Um, and so you're going to have to interact, you're going to have to communicate with others. And there again, relaying that purpose and what your purpose is and how that affects others is what I've found the best way <coughs> excuse me, to communicate. Because if the other person knows why you're doing what you're doing and knows your end goal, one, they're used as kind of that corrective action of, well, you said that your, you know, your main purpose was to do that. And that's why I am so out in the open about what we want to do here. This is, this is what we're about. This is that way if we ever get off course and we are doing things that don't align with that purpose, well, then someone can call me on it. Someone could say, hey, dude, you said we were doing this and this does not align with the purpose of why we are in business and why we do what we do. So there again, you kind of gain some accountability uh, on the backside of having a concrete purpose. These are my actions that should lead to the purpose and then others hold me accountable. Are my actions in line with my purpose? And I think that is the, um, you know, that is the, the, the true next step uh, once you find it, then you've got to make sure that everything aligns properly uh, because a purpose and then actions that don't align 
well, you don't really have a purpose. You just have like a pipe dream uh, of, well, that sounds nice. I think I'll say it. Obviously, the action is what is going to back up that purpose. And <clears throat> I think it is critical in business success, at least in my feeling uh, about this area, is that there are so many places, and we run into them on a daily basis, where their, their purpose isn't about helping someone else. It's about helping themselves. Uh, it's about how can I get mine, um, how can I advance my own agenda through somebody else. And I think that is, while I'm not here to, to abdicate a specific purpose, um, what I've told you is that ours is to help people. And we feel that through our purpose of helping others, we will advance. Um, and I personally think that that is the best way to advance and to grow and to get better is to reach out and help somebody. And when you, you're able to tell somebody and explain to somebody that purpose and they truly know that you're, you're coming from a place of wanting to help, uh, it is really, really amazing. Um, I see it on a daily basis of what people will do, um, how people feel empowered, um, and where people will go um, to advance your purpose. Um, so to me, the purpose and, and, and through wanting to help others is ultimately others are going to help row that boat with you. Uh, because if they know that you're coming from a place of wanting to empower them, wanting to help them, wanting to advance their career, wanting to advance their life, well, why wouldn't they want to help you? Why wouldn't they want to jump on that ship and sail to wherever you're going? Um, and so I think that is the thing that most people miss is their purpose is self-satisfying, where it's my purpose is to be the best this. That's wonderful. Um, but how are you going to get people to help you do that without reaching out and, and, and helping somebody else. And so I think that's extremely, um, extremely important. And I also think that because it is one of those things that is viewed as complex, viewed as I don't really want to deal with that, that seems kind of touchy-feely type stuff, is oftentimes why we don't find success, is because there is no true meaning behind what we're actually doing. Um, we, we just don't, we don't understand what that is, or we just get caught up in life, and life becomes, an, you know, I did this today, I do this tomorrow, I do this the next day. We're not really moving towards anything, we're just kind of on that, that wheel where we just keep spinning. Um, and we just keep spinning, and then we're wondering why we're not getting anywhere um, and, and it's because we have no real direction as to where we want to go. The tough part about that is in the, in the part about that this is very, very simple when you boil it down, uh, but it's not easy to live out your purpose. Would everybody agree with that? I mean, it, it, that's, the, that's the tough part. That's the hurdle. Um, that we've all got to get through is, okay, I've set this purpose. I understand what it is. I understand where I want to go. Um, but now, how in the heck do I get there? Uh, what, what is it going to be that is going to ultimately take me there so that I can kind of fulfill that purpose, so that I can live that purpose? Um, there again, purpose is not an end destination. Um, it is a way of life. Um, and you use that purpose to guide your life as you move through each day. That's what's going to guide your actions. Um, that's what's going to move you forward. Um, so people who like, my purpose is to be here one day. Wonderful. Um, but... Uh, you know, how are you going to live that out? What are you about? Uh, what is it that makes you you? Um, what do you want to leave 
when your time is up here on earth, what is it that you're going to leave? What are people going to say about you? What are people going to say about your purpose? Are they going to know what your purpose was? That's a kind of a, that's a deep question there. Are they going to know what your purpose was? Are you going to have told enough people? Are you going to have showed enough people what it is you are about and affected their life in some way, shape, or form that they're going to tell somebody about you, about the purpose you lived with, about the purpose that you affected others with? That's the tough one. That's the question that, you know, there again, I, like anyone else, wrestle with, is it is very easy to get off that path of what the true purpose is because living with purpose is hard. Uh, it, it's, it's, not the, it's not the easy road. The easy road is, you know, just waking up every day and just letting life just kind of beat you around and do your thing and move on to the next one and we'll see what it is, complain about it a little bit on the weekend, head back to it Monday, do it all again, wait for the month to be over, when's there a holiday? Well, there again, the good thing about that and what we try to do here is create purpose within the organization so that it is something that on Monday, well, yeah, no one wants to get up and everybody's tired, you're excited about making an impact on somebody. You're excited about helping somebody. And to me, that is what I am so excited about as we continue to move forward is that we continue to, to ramp this up. Um, the one thing that I have noticed <clears throat> about purpose is that, I don't know if I've ever said this, but it's something I've noticed here over the last six months as I've really dug into this. Um, and, and, and ultimately, you know, honestly, this is why we do this class is because I kind of said to myself, our purpose is to impact people. I've got all this information that I read and come across and different stuff like that. If the goal is to impact people, then we've got to do it. Uh, we've got to be about it. And the one thing that I have noticed is everybody talks about, God, I, it's flying by. This, this year's already flying by. And while, yes, it goes fast, it is amazing how many times I catch myself during the week going, huh, we've still got three days left of this week. That's awesome. We've, it's only Tuesday. That's great. Whereas people without that purpose, they don't, they don't understand that, that each day is about living that purpose and about getting to live that purpose um, that they have in their life. It's just, how do I get to the next day? And my purpose is way out here. So each day that I get through, I'm ultimately going to come closer to whatever that end goal is. I can tell you right now, if that's the attitude, you're never going to get there because you're wasting away day after day after day after day. And then you're hopeful that, well, maybe on Thursday I'll get something productive done and we'll move, we'll move forward. Um, and, you know, that, that is the ultimate thing, and that's kind of the, the second piece of that, um, that that I'll jump into. Is once you establish that priority uh, or that purpose, then uh, it is more so how do I set my priorities? You know, how do I, how do I win each day? Uh, how do I make sure that I am living my purpose each day. And the purpose is where we want to go. That's how we want to live. Um, that's what we want it to look like. But then the second piece of that is the priority. What am I going to do? What are my actions going to look like if I truly want to live out that purpose? Uh, if I truly want to be about it, if I want to walk the walk, not just talk it and say that, that that's wonderful. There again, you cannot live without, you cannot live by priority if you don't have a purpose. And likewise, you can't really have a purpose if you don't have a priority. 
If you don't have action that matches that purpose, well, you're never going to get there. It's just going to be a dream, literally going to be a dream. And once you clarify and you are dead set on that, on that purpose, like, like we are here, it's impact people all the time, every day, 24-7. That's what we want to do. We feel by doing that, we'll grow the business, we'll grow opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. It'll be crazy. We'll have positions here that we never even thought, even never even dreamed of. We already do. Um, it, it's, it's crazy. But at the end of the day, that rosy picture of this unbelievable place where everybody's advancing to where they want to be and taking on new roles and doing all that stuff, it starts today. It starts Saturday. It starts with this class. Here's what we're having. So we just got to win today. I woke up this morning and I said, okay, my goal is to impact people. How am I going to do that today? And I've taken that into every meeting I go into is how am I going to impact the person that I am having the meeting with? How am I going to impact them? How am I going to make them a better manager? How am I going to, they're struggling with this. How am I going to give them a few nuggets of information that can hopefully move them forward? And there again, I fail in some, me- in some meetings. I come in, I'm unprepared, it doesn't work. But then you kind of take a step back and you go, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't really live out my purpose in, in that meeting there. I just kind of threw it. And, it. and there's a multitude of reasons. You know, you get tossed around or, you know, you just weren't prepared or the meeting just didn't go like it did. But man, when I go into a meeting and I am ready to really make an impact on somebody, uh, to really make things happen, similar to that meeting, like I said last week, where we went in and we were like, this is going to be good. We're going to have a lot of good conversation. We came up with four or five ideas that we were like, gee, that'd be awesome. We can do that. Um, and we all three came out of the meeting like on fire. The guy that we had the meeting with was like, all right, I'm heading out. Sure enough, he sells his next job. Uh, the other guy that I was in the meeting with, he's already implemented two of the ideas that we talked about within 30 minutes. I'm like, well, okay, we're running with that. But we knew what our purpose was and we knew what the priority was. The priority was to live in that moment, to live in that 30 minutes that we had with that guy and then understand what our purpose was and then how we were going to drive that home in 30 minutes, just 30. That's all we had right there but we made the most of it and there again while it was a small victory and there are a lot of hours in life and we only used a half of one we made progress we made a step forward Uh, we didn't waste that time just kind of being bounced around by life Uh, we moved it forward which I think is key and that kind of goes back to what I was talking about with habit versus result goals you know, do you have a bunch of result goals, but you have no habits whatsoever that are going to ultimately take you there? If you do, then you're going to have trouble reaching those result goals. There again, to, to kind of touch on that briefly, you know, those habit goals are goals based on choices that you can make every single day. Like we made a choice in that meeting to have a great meeting. We made that choice. Whereas if we just said, as a result goal, because this is one of my result goals at the end of the year, is to spend time on the sales department every single day. Spend time on it every single day because we can make a really big impact there because we weren't prior to that. But that comes in small increments. Working on it every single day, that's a choice. So I wanna make the sales department really great by the end of the year. Well, that starts today, that starts Tomorrow, there again, like today. Today I sent out an email to all the guys. said, great Friday, we're moving ahead. There we go. That's just a small piece, but it's that piece of making the sales department great at the end of the year is to focus on it every single day. So I focus on it literally seven days a week. I carve out time, and that's a priority for me. Is I'm going to focus on the sales department. What changes can we make? What things can we do? There again, and I've got a bunch of result goals that those habits are coming, but that's one that comes to mind. Um, just because they had such a great day yesterday. That was awesome. I was really happy about that. Yep. Um, but, um, but yeah, and, and the biggest thing for me is, and 
this is where I kind of get passionate because I'm figuring out all of this as I'm teaching it to you. Literally figured this out this morning, uh, or actually this past week. So this is something I just discovered this last week, is we hold ourselves so accountable once we establish these priorities that it's so easy to get down on ourselves when we don't accomplish something. So there's the flip side of that coin where we've set these big result goals and it's like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this by the end of the month. The end of the month comes and you didn't reach it. And you're like, well, crap, you know? So what's the likelihood of you setting another goal that you're truly passionate about, that you truly think you can hit if you, in your mind, failed the month before? Well, let's face it. You set a goal because it's difficult to do. So would it be easier to string together some small goals, some small wins, like what can I do today? I'm going to do these three things come hell or high water. I'm doing these three things because they align with what is ultimately at the end of the tunnel. You know, I look at it, even a week for me is tough. Like I sit there on Sunday and I'm like, I'm going to have a great week. This is how Monday is going to go. This is how Tuesday is going to go. This is how Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to be sitting there Friday. I'm going to be on top of the world. Like, this is the greatest week ever. I killed it. Well, we work here every day. Man, shit is flying at you like you wouldn't believe. I mean, you know, you could be sitting there on a Wednesday like, I haven't gotten literally anything done. And then... What's that do? Carries over into Thursday, carries over into Friday. Then you're looking at the week going, well, Monday and Tuesday were good, but the rest of the week was shot. Well, what if on a Wednesday at 3 o'clock you could center yourself and say, whew, this day is off the rails, but I had three things to do today, and I can knock out one right now. I can knock out the next one, and I'll have all three done by the end, by the end of the day, and we'll be ready to rock and roll on Thursday. I'm going to take it into this next day. There again, make it easy on yourself. If we're going to accomplish these big goals, set the priorities on a daily basis so that you can achieve the end goal. To me, that also, and this is something literally just kind of came up with this morning, but I really, really like it, is what do they always say about goals? Well, you should enjoy the process. You should enjoy the process. Who the hell enjoys the process of a tough goal? That seems stupid to me. Well, that's going to be really hard to get there. I don't, uh, you know, why? Uh, Enjoy the process? What are you talking about? Well, what I came up with this morning is that maybe looking at that end result, it's going to be tough to enjoy the process. But if I look at what can I do today, and win today, well, I'm going to enjoy that process. When it comes to winning a week and just I'm going to really tear it up this week, if I can go into Monday and I know i got to win eight hours, i got to win eight hours of Monday, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going in, I'm going to put my day, day's worth of work in. If I can win that and you win Monday and then you roll into Tuesday and you got some momentum and you win Tuesday and because you got just a couple of things that you need to accomplish but you know it'll take you to the end part, then you can start to enjoy the process because that process becomes a process full of wins rather than no win, no win, no win, all the way to the very end, and then you go, ah, didn't get there. But if, you know, say that the, the ultimate goal is to hit this number of, of, of sales revenue for the end of the month, well, if we don't focus on the day, and we just wait till the end of the month, we're very rarely going to hit that. But if we focus on the fact that every single day I'm going to, you know, whatever it is, I'm going to have a genuine conversation with the customer. I'm going to give them multiple options on every single call. And I'm going to do, uh, you know, I'm going to follow up with that customer the next day, every day. Okay, perfect. Well, I just got to win Monday. So Monday... I'm going to have two sales leads. Okay, I'm going to have that genuine conversation. I'm going to give them multiple options, and then I'm going to follow up the next day on that call. Well, to me, you can win Monday pretty easily. Now, hitting that revenue goal, that's a little bit tougher. Like, you're going to be, you may get through Monday and be like, well, 
Am I closer or am I not? Well, you're probably going to judge that on did I sell anything or did I not? Well, okay. So if you didn't, what kind of momentum do you have rolling into Tuesday? Now, sure, we can give ourselves a little pep talk of, oh, it'll be good tomorrow and we'll win that. But how often does that become Tuesday? Well, you know, we didn't win Tuesday, but uh, Wednesday is rolling around. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to that. And so there again, I, I encourage you to set these small incremental priorities that are ultimately going to lead to you fulfilling your purpose, to fulfilling long-term goals, whatever it may be, to live in the moment. What can I do today that is going to advance what I want to ultimately get to? Live in the day. It's so easy to get frustrated. So why not, I mean, in essence, why not take a shortcut? Why not take the path of least resistance? The path of most resistance to me is setting a goal three months from now and then like hoping we get there. It's so easy to get frustrated. I can't even think, I don't even know what three months from now is. What is that, middle of May, April, something? Great, I don't know what that could bring, but I get really excited when we just go out and win tomorrow. You know, we, we put, uh, put the uh, whiteboard in there and we really focus on how we're going to win today. What do we need to do? How many calls do we have on the board? How many installs do we have scheduled for tomorrow? How many do we need? There again, create that urgency, create those priorities that are going to get us there. You know, we had a review this week and this is one thing with as many young people as we have in the organization under the age of 30, the toughest part for them is to do this. Because in order to live with priority, in order to understand what that purpose is, you've got to find the fine line between urgency and patience. And they have zero patience. Zero. Trust me. Zero patience. You guys have kids, they have zero patience. Well, I just want to get there tomorrow. Well, that's wonderful. It's going to take some time. And we've got to combine that urgency with the patience. You know, this guy wants to be, you know, when, when you ask him what his five-year goal is, well, I want to be, a, you know, I want to be a, a plumber in a truck. Okay. It's good. Good goal. Good goal. But I'm really not liking what I'm doing right now. Okay, well, here's where the problem lies. You're going to need to like what you do right now or else you're never going to get there in five years. So what you're doing right now, you need to find some sort of connection between what you're doing today and then what that goal of five years from now looks like. So we've got to find that urgency, the urgency of living today, making today count, Make it, pulling out whatever I can learn, you know, that I'm going to need to learn to be a plumber in five years. What can you learn about plumbing today? What can you learn about interacting with a customer today? I get it. You may not be doing exactly what you want to be doing. Because obviously you just told me that if I said, hey, jump in a plumbing truck, you're a plumber today, you'd say, okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm in for it. Even though you know in the back of your mind you're not ready. Well, you have to take the initiative to get yourself ready. Unfortunately, that happens one day at a time. There again, if we can set his result goal of five years from now being a plumber and then backtrack to priorities, so what does he need to focus on today? Well, probably needs to focus on talking to the customer. Probably needs to focus on inspecting homes and looking at plumbing systems. Um, all of these things are ultimately going to build on him achieving that goal. If he goes through every day saying that he doesn't really like what he's doing, well, like I told him, I go, you're not going to like what you're doing for the next five years. I can tell you that 100% because you're never going to progress. You're always going to be at that same spot going, I don't like what I'm doing and hoping that maybe one day I'll get out here. It ain't going to happen. Sorry. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're not doing anything today to get you there. All you're doing is complaining about where you're at and how you're not going to get there or how maybe tomorrow would be a good day for you to get there. Well, I'm telling you, it's going to take time 
to get there. It took everybody time. No one woke up and on a Tuesday and said, I think I'll be a plumber and was a great plumber on Wednesday. Don't, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen with anything. It doesn't happen if you want to be a technician, a manager, whatever it may be. Um, you're not going to get there. It takes time. It takes patience. But you've got to combine the urgency with your patience in order to get there. Urgency with patience. There's a very fine line there um, of, that has to be uncovered uh, in order to continue down that path, in order to continue uh, to achieve those result-oriented goals. You know, a few tricks for me that I use is, obviously we've talked about journaling, the importance of it, uh, the, the love that I have for it. Um, I started this new thing uh, a couple months ago where I start out every time I write with the words start again, start again. Basically just to remind myself, to trigger my mind to think, okay, if yesterday was not super successful, if yesterday kind of sucked, you know, I didn't get to where I wanted to be, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, I didn't make an impact like I should have. I wasted an opportunity to have a meeting with somebody that would have been good. I wasted an opportunity to have a positive attitude. I just put start again because truly that's what it is. We shouldn't hold ourselves accountable for something that went bad and let it affect our pursuit of making today great. There again, start again to me means I have an opportunity again today. So what are you going to do with it? Let's get back on track. Let's go after it. Let's get things going. What, can, what am I doing looking at my schedule today? Where did I make missteps yesterday that I can correct and I can make up for, you know, whatever I didn't do yesterday? Or again, make it easy on ourselves. Make it easy on ourselves to achieve these big goals that we set, uh, to, to achieve these big aspirations, um, to live with that purpose that we want to live with. Make it easy on ourselves. Just take it one day at a time, one incremental, take it a half day at a time, whatever you want to break it down to, make it in those amount of time. And I think it's going to be a lot easier for you to get there. Along with that, you know, the, the journaling piece for me has turned into, as I've really embraced this, really understood what loving the process is, um, is really using that time and whether it's writing or whether it's just thinking or you know taking time in your truck to turn off the radio and just kind of think about how today is going to go whatever it is for you there again it can be different for everybody mine happens to be writing but to really center myself on what i'm going to do how many times do we wake up go into the day and it's not but three o'clock before we realize what the heck we set out to do well, I use this time at first thing in the morning to really center myself on what it is I'm going to make of today. Where are the roadblocks? Where are the challenging meetings? Where are the, uh, I don't really want to have that conversation? Where are those things? How can I better prepare myself for them? How can I make them a positive? You know, reviews, you know, those are times when, you know, ah, you know, we got to sit in here, we got to do this. Well, you know, this last week when we had this one, which I thought was a good one, is I really went at it like I'm going to make an impact on this person. It may be a review. We may be looking at what you did over the past year, but I want to make an impact on you moving forward. What are we going to do to move you forward? And I came out of that feeling like, you know what? I did my best. I, I really attacked that. I got it, got it going. But that was something I wrote in my journal that morning that, oof. I'm not exactly looking forward to this because this could, when giving someone some really frank advice, that could go a number of different directions. They may pay attention, they may not, they may flip me off and run out of the room. I don't know how it's gonna go, so there's a little uncertainty. I'm not super excited about that. But I knew that going in and I prepared myself with what I wanted to do. Same thing goes for the rest of my day, you know? What am I going to do? Uh, what things, and I'll get to this uh, when it gets to kind of time management stuff, but what is it going to be uh, that I'm going to do today? What am I going to make the choice to do so that 
my actions align with my purpose and my day is a good one as opposed to, you know, a, a bad one. Um, there's little things you can do. So, you know, like I said, my purpose, this company's pr impact and help people. So I started a thing where in the morning, um, and I don't do it every morning, regrettably, but I try to send someone I know like a thank you, uh, a pep up, or hey, thanks for being my friend, or really awesome you're doing this, or great job here, or whatever it may be, because I know that's a simple thing, but it starts me down that path. Uh, it, it starts that snowball effect of what I want to do all day long uh, is help people, impact people. If I can start my day with doing that, I'm like one for one. I'm moving down, moving down that road. I've already got a win under my belt. That was pretty easy. All I had to do was text somebody or shoot somebody an email, and we're moving through the week. And stuff like that, there again, it builds on one another. You start getting in that routine, it's amazing the stuff that will find you. It's amazing the situations that will come your way where if you're in that right mindset, uh, if you're locked in to making an impact, uh, if you're locked into your purpose, those situations will find you and you'll be able to live it out. And there is nothing better than being able to live out your purpose on a daily basis and you're, find, you're wanting situations to come to you, wanting them to come to you. Like, you know, we had one yesterday, and at, towards the end of the day, and it's like, God, you know, we've got so many pieces to move around and this, that, and the other. And, I, you know, it's frustrating in the moment because you're like, God, you know, I thought we had this all put together, and now, now the system seems like it's totally broken down. But what do we do? And I went home, and, and on my way home, just kind of, smiling at the fact of this is what you asked for you asked to impact people here it is it's on a silver platter what are you going to do you know how does each person in this situation how can we impact them in a positive way even if that is hey i think you're going to need to do it like this or we need to bring on someone completely new how are we going to make that a positive for everybody and how can we move it forward and so really embracing uh, what your purpose is, uh, and then those situations coming to find you uh, is one of the most remarkable things because you can, it, it, you just feel it and, and you're, you're alive because that's what you want to do. That's what you're about. And when it finds you and, and that's what you're doing, it, it, is a, it is a ride that you can ride all day long. Uh, and it's, it's one that you can start to enjoy that process. While there are stressful moments, when you get clear about what you want to do, um, it becomes a whole lot less stressful because ultimately your purpose is kind of like why you were put here. Why are you here? Uh, who are you going to affect? Who are you going to impact? And for me, that's the one thing I believe that I was put here to do was to do that, to spread this, to influence anybody and everybody I can. Um, and that's what gets me excited. Um, it just so happens that we also get to, to build something that hopefully does that for a ton more people and a ton more customers. And that's exciting. Uh, you know, there again, back to the beginning of the story, when I first came into this, putting in furnaces and working on them, no offense to anybody who does, that wasn't super exciting to me. I don't know how to do that. I wouldn't know the first thing about it if I took off the front of your furnace. I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, I do know the difference between a gas and electric one now, uh, which is great. Um, but there again, that is not why I'm here. Uh, I'm not here to work on any furnaces. Um, my purpose is to hopefully help as many people as we can. Customers, people here, um, that's what I want to do, uh, and that is what I hope to do every day. There again, that comes back to that accountability. I've told you guys what I want to do. Um, now you guys can hold me accountable if I ever get out of line. Uh, not doing that or acting stupid. Slap me around, tell me what I need to do. Uh, tell me to get back in line. We all need that sometimes. So, I hope that was... Uh, insightful there again kind of kind of uh touching 
back on the results goals versus habit goals, um, but something I think is important and, and something I, there again, I struggle with on a daily basis, but also embracing it has helped me uh, tremendously um, in, in moving, uh, moving down and improving and, and getting better. Um, it's tough. Uh, it's tough to hold yourself accountable every single day and say, I want to do this. And there's days that I don't do it. There's days that I just flat out don't accomplish it. Um, but it's all about getting back up on that horse and, and getting that win tomorrow, uh, making that next day really, really count.